Clint Shepard, I'm the Assistant Director of uh, Research and Development with Morris Industries here. Um, I've worked with Morris for about eight years now, uh, developing different air seeding tools, uh, disc drills, the contour drill, which we've had in the field for some years now. Um, and I'm going to be kind of talking about a new prototype disc drill that we uh, just started with this past spring. Um, just to get an idea of what the machine's all about. Uh, we uh, developed a new opener from scratch. We've been in the disc drill market for some years now uh, with other, other machines that have been for sale, um, including the Neverpin and the Sunflower Express drill. Um, but we kind of did a clean slate and decided to take all the advantages that we've, we've seen in the field from different machines and combine it into one opener system. So I'll just kind of go over the opener, um, the drill itself, and give you guys an idea of how it all came together. Okay, so fundamentals of the opener, similar to our contour drill, um, we started off with a parallel linkage and we actually uh, you still use hydraulic actuation, still have the same uh, proven hydraulic cylinder as our contour drill, um, wear rings and high quality seals in the cylinder as, long as, as well as nitride shafting. Um, this gives us really consistent uh, down pressure throughout the range of travel of the opener. Um, you can see it also maintains a, a, your correct angle at the back of the at the back of the opener body um, and gives you a consistent downforce. Now with a disc drill obviously the important thing is to always have good penetration on your disc blade which maintains your, your seed depth and accuracy. So we started off with a walking pivot axle here. Um, unlike some competitive machines our axle actually allows for a constant opener angle to the ground as well. So this axle can actually rotate about this central point and always follows the ground and maintains every, every contour. A big thing that happens because of this design as well is because your, your draft load on this disc blade is near the bottom of the disc, you actually generate downforce on the gauge wheel and the, and the disc itself because of that draft loading. Okay, so another very important um, aspect of any uh, independent opener design is the working range or working travel that the opener system has. Um, this opener system in particular has a plus or minus 8 inch travel range, so it can go 8 inches up um, from neutral position or 8 inches downwards um, in the field. And it also has plus or minus 15 degrees of oscillation at this walking pivot to um, follow the ground and, and really track amazingly well in, in, in difficult conditions. Along with that, we actually also have nine inches of vertical clearance um, in transport position when the openers are fully raised. So obviously, Critical to any uh, disc drill design is a good scraper system um, for product placement. This is our, our single shoot scraper system. It obviously uh, has carbide um, at the bottom of the scraper. You can see on this inside edge here, this particular drill has approximately 3,000 acres in some very abrasive soil conditions. And both the disc blade and the scraper provided very good life through spring. Um, this uh, scraper boot actually takes both of our hose sizes, the inch and an eighth and inch and three eighths hose, um, so it's adaptable to either Morris distribution system. Um, went with a 20.4 inch diameter disc blade, um, which also allows us to get very good penetration and also good disc life. Uh, one concern many customers have with any disc drill product is obviously the number of settings and adjustments on the machine. This particular opener system has one adjustment, that is this uh, depth cam system right here. Also a component that's borrowed from our contour drill design. So single depth adjustment um, on the machine. Uh, depth adjustment is as simple as pulling a pin, rotating the depth cam and putting the pin back in at whatever setting you want quarter inch increments throughout the depth range and that's basically adjusting your gauge wheel um, through this center hub here. Uh, one other thing to note on our scraper system is also a seed bounce flap that prevents any uh, undue seed bounce out the back of the boot and allows for uh, more exact product placement in the field.
All right, so instead of reinventing the wheel, um, we decided as a design group that it would be a better idea just to keep the uh, strong features from the contour drill as much as we could. Um, we maintained the same hydraulic system as the contour drill. It's a passive system, um, doesn't use any oil while actually operating in working position, relies on a hydraulic accumulator circuit um, to provide your flexibility for the openers and train following ability. This system works with a reducing valve to set your pressure and also has a, op or a feature that allows you to operate in two different modes. One would be a bleed off uh, mode where you can uh, decrease pressure on the fly in the field using your tractor remote and then following that you can increase pressure when you get into tough going again and you need more hydraulic pressure. Um, this system also locks the oil in the accumulator circuit when you're lifting and lowering the openers system which prevents you from having to recharge all of the oil every time you cycle the openers up and down. Um, included in this system is a manual gauge um, in case you ever have uh, issues with electronic gauge in the cab you can still see your pressure on this manual gauge and it allows you to set the machine more easily at the drill. Um, our standard ball valve system for locking up your wing hydraulics as well as the uh, ball valve for locking up the opener system to in transport position um, when you're going out on the road. So in development of this machine we kind of uh, surveyed exi some existing distro customers and we came to the conclusion that quite a few of them actually uh, one of their main hesitations with disc drill designs were that they were looking for a larger working width and uh, than they could currently get in the marketplace so in consideration of that we started with the development of this 40 foot model um, but as you can see from our wing lift design system here similar to the contour drill this machine can be expanded out to 60 feet um, as well and also a 50 foot model is in the works which would give Morris a 40 foot, a 50 foot and a 60 foot um, drill size in this model. Um, to go with that, most common drill spacings uh, focused around seven and a half inch and 10 inch spacing. Morris will have that available as well as the possibility to lock um, every second row up and run uh, 15 inch spacing on the seven and a half inch models which makes it a very flexible machine seeding wheat and soybeans in certain areas of, of the uh, northern states. In uh, kind of summary of the, the new system we've designed here at Morris, um, we feel this machine has many advantages in the field compared to some of the existing competitive offerings in the marketplace. Uh, one of them is actually the penetration ability of our walking opener. Um, due to the mechanics of how it works, it actually uh, hasn't required any frame weights or anything else during testing and we um, de definitely maintain positive def control at all times, even in adverse seating conditions. Um, and that includes seating at um, speeds in the range of six to seven miles an hour and getting very consistent depth control results. Um, one other thing that we uh, found out this past spring and obviously many producers have experienced over the past two seasons is the ability to work in wet conditions is critical. Um, customers who use this machine in this spring seeding season actually found that they could get in the field earlier with this drill than they could with many of the existing products in the market um, just due to the fact that it clears mud better and, and does a better job of product placement in adverse conditions with high moisture.